volumes of right pyramids and right cones. We're going to start with the volume of a right pyramid and, and look at what that formula will be. Remember that if you have a right prism, the volume is length times width times height. So that is if you have like a cube or a rectangular um, prism. Um, length and white width can also be considered as the area of the base times height. So sometimes that formula is written as area of base times height. If we've got the volume of a right pyramid, so pyramid shape being like this down here, it's a very similar formula, okay? As long as it has the same base and, this, um, and the same height, it's one third the volume of the right prism. So we'll take this formula right here and we'll just put a one third in front. So one third of area is the base times width times height. So let's look at a formula to, um, or an example rather, to use that formula right here. So calculate the volume of this right square pyramid to the nearest cubic inch. So if we are going to um, look at this, we're gonna have to figure out the area of the base. So the area of the base first would be four times four. It's a square, so that's how come I know that each side's the same. So that's 16 inches square. And then I need to times up by the height. So if I look at this question, this is slant height. I actually need the height, which would be from this apex center part to the middle. So we'll draw that as a right angle. So I actually need to find this height here. So I'm, I like to redraw this triangle here so I can see it. So I wanna find the height. And this is the hypotenuse of six. If this full distance is four, halfway would be two. So I need to use my Pythagoras theory to find this. We're gonna have six squared equals two squared plus b squared. So b squared would equal 36 minus four, which equals 32. So b is equal to the square root of 32, which is 5.56585, et cetera, when you put that into your calculator inches. Again, it's important not to round off. You can even use the exact value in your work if you choose. So now we're ready to plug this into our volume of a, uh, the, the volume here of the um, uh, pyr uh, pyramid. So volume is equal to one third area of the base times height. So we have one third times 16 times my height of 5.56585. Now it's important that we don't round this number off. So this should be already in your calculator. If not, you wanna put square root of 32 back in your calculator to get these decimals. And then just type times 16. And instead of typing, you can, you can still multiply by one third, but it's easier times one doesn't change anything. So just divide that answer by three. So it's this decimal times 16, divide that by three. And in your calculator, once you do that, you're gonna get 30.1698, etc. So when you round off to the nearest cubic inch, you're gonna have the volume is equal to 30 inches cubed. With volume, remember that your dimensions, it's a three dimensional, so inches cubed. You wanna make sure you put your little three there.